Good evening, everyone. Look at this. It's filled up. 2017-18 Prism Basketball. This is a full case random team break. Three random teams each. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Kyle, I tried to email. I don't know if you emailed me back right now, but I tried to email you, Kyle, because I, I realized that you were the only one uh, not watching live. Everyone, everyone else is here. But anyhow, good luck to any. Good luck to you anyway. One, two, and three. So we'll triple up the list. One spot gets you three teams. And at the very end, there are two holiday scratchers involved. So at the very end, I'll just randomize the original ten names. And the top two will get um, holiday scratchers, which I'll scratch for you at the very end of this break. All right, let's roll the dice. Six and a four, ten times for each list. And then the, uh, the holiday scratcher will be a different uh, randomizer. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. So six and a four, ten times. After ten times, we got Angelo. All the way down to Angelo. He got a lot of spots in this one. Ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. Pelicans down to the Heat. Now feel free to trade. I'll, I'll give a, I'll give the trade window a little more time because I know most of the people are here. So I'll give you a little extra time to, to trade. There's a lot of teams here, so if you want to get like your favorite, your PC team or whatever. Uh, Angelo, you have the Pelicans and the Grizz. Jason, with your last spot, Mojo, Magic, Rockets, and Celtics. Nice. Angelo with the Nets. Vasilis with the Timberwolves. Angelo with the Sixers. Angelo with the Knicks. Kyle, you have the Thunder and Clippers. Angelo, Hawks, Hornets, Vasilis, Bucks. Angelo, Raptors, Suns, Jazz, Kings. Kyle with the Pistons. Cavs and Pacers for Angelo. Vasilis with the Trailblazers and Wizards. Angelo with the Mavs. Warriors for Vasilis. Spurs and Nuggets for Angelo. There's the Celtics again. And Bulls for Vasilis. Lakers, my Lakers for Angelo. And the Heat. Let's organize these. What's great about this break is that most of you should have at least one team where a Silver Prism card could pay for one spot in this break. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you get more, then obviously, you know, so that's what that's what I love about this. Uh, that's what I love about this prison basketball. We have, um, so this case right here that we're about to do for the full, ca the full case break of prison basketball, this is our final case. We don't have any more prison. We, ha we do have three more breaks Three more Pick Your Team breaks on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Those are the three box Pick Your Team breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Those are the only ones Prism boxes left, basketball. So if you want to get into more Prism, you can get into that tonight. In fact, we should have, we will have time, because after this break is done, we will be entering the, um, we'll be just under the last hour of the broadcast. We will have time to do more Prism basketball if you want to, if you pick your teams. Um... Jason, wonder if anybody wants the Rockets, Vasilis or Angelo. Any any thoughts on that, or if Kyle happens to be here? Do you have a Jason? Do you have a particular team that you kind of want? Maybe throw an offer out there, see if uh, see if Angelo or Vasilis would be into that. While you guys are trading, let me go ahead and start pulling these boxes out of here. Let's organize my break here while people are thinking about that. Otherwise, we'll just go, just in the interest of time. We've got a full case of Prism Basketball coming at you, Joe P. The hits in here in Prism Basketball are big enough to pay for a transcendent baseball spot. That's, that's how monstrous these, uh, these hits can be. All right. What's up next? Well, that's up, that's up to you. No, not yeah, whatever. It's true, Joe P. You get a couple silver prism cards here and there of of, of Markel Fultz, of this guy. You can get a you can you can pick up a transcendent baseball spot. Alright, I don't think there's gonna be any trade, so we're just gonna go. TWC means trade window closed. Hey, last time we did this break a couple weeks ago, 
Well, let me print this out. Last time we did this break a couple of weeks ago, the, the Lakers owner got a Mojo refractor of Kyle Kuzma. No auto, just, just a Mojo refractor out of 25 of Kyle Kuzma, uh, which is going to go for about $500. That would cover a transcended baseball spot. Like that. Just one card, no ink. In fact, Jordan, who, who got that spot, actually came back into the chat, or came back, and uh, after he received all of his hits, he said, I, he's like, Joe, you know Jordan Hope. I think a lot of people see his name a lot. Um, he's been breaking with us for years. He went through, I think that's probably the best break he's ever had, too. He, uh, he went through all of the hits that he got, and he said, Joe, I think with just the lake, or just all of, because he got three teams. He said, with all of my teams, if I grinded out auctions for everything, for the nice inserts and the rookies and all that, he's like, I think it's over two grand. 2500 and all he bought was one, uh, one team. One $300 spot. Made about two, two and a half grand back. That's what he says. At least according to the more recent eBay prices. Yeah, that Kuzma's probably more than that now. Because that break was like, what? Three weeks ago or something like that? So yeah, the prison basketball, well, I mean basically, the entire draft class, all the 17, 18 products, basketball products this year, have a lot of money in it. You know what I mean? But Prism especially. Like, you're not going to see that too often with, uh, maybe Optic will get kind of close once Optic Basketball is out. I'll bet Optic Basketball will get close to those kind of prices for just like those rated rookie silver Prism cards. Um, but other than that, you know, there will be a boost in pricing just in general. But this is really the best. Prison basketball is really the best in terms of like lower risk and, and super high reward. It's a, it's a little work though, Joe P. I know, I, I know you're more of a memorabilia guy, more of a high-end transcendent kind of guy. But if you, if you want to grind out like some, some uh, cards here, this is the Prism Basketball, Optic Basketball will be another great set going forward. And just in general, like we got Absolute here today. You know what I mean? Absolute is going to be, you know, like this, this stuff. This year's Absolute is going to sell better than last year's Absolute Basketball. Let's put it that way. Because of the rookie class. You know what I mean? Um, Court Kings Basketball. We, we have some of that in the store right now. People have been breaking it all, all week. You know, and so Court Kings basketball, this year's rookie class is going to make it sell a lot better than, you know, last year's rookie class. So it's it's kind of crazy how, how dependent we are upon upon what teams draft what. That's guess, I guess that's what makes this exciting. Okay, here we go. Let's adjust my camera angle here a little bit. All right, good luck, everybody. So uh, Vet Base does not ship. So sorry, Clay Thompson won't ship. But Dennis Smith Jr. RCs. Rookie cards will ship. Obviously, Derek White will ship. That's for the Spurs. That'll go to Angelo, one of my rivals. I'm a Lakers guy. Courtney Lee. So these are the silvers, silver prism, essentially the refractors. Those will ship. This Andrew Wiggins hyper will ship. Those coaches will ship. Sterling Brown will ship. So there you go. I think everyone gets a good idea about that. Everyone's pretty familiar with that. So like these Kyle Kuzma silvers probably go for a couple hundred bucks. That Kyle Kuzma alone could probably go for a decent amount. Sean Kilpatrick for the Nets. How many autos are here per box? I forget. It's been a while since we did this. Two autos per box. So there's our second one. Angel, you have four cases of this prison basketball put away? It's a good idea. Tyler Lydon, 24 out of 49. Even guys like this will probably go for a decent amount on a secondary market too. Rookie class, this year's rookie class is deep. Not only is it deep, a lot of the rookies seem to be performing as well. Blake Griffin, Mojo for the Clippers. That'll be for Kyle. That's out of 25, 18 out of 25. If only that guy could stay healthy. Nice Josh Hart. So basically any of these inserts 
for the rookies are pretty solid. Larry Nance Jr. and Onuaku for the Rockets. 46 out of 75. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like stock market, Joe P. Yeah, so someone like Angelo, who has a handful of those cases sitting around, um, yeah, you can hold on to those cases and you could resell them later on. Box prices always go up on this sort of stuff. There's Frank Tilakina, Tyus Jones for the Timberwolves out of 199. Kyrie. Yeah, this is probably considered the best draft class in the last 10 years, so... I mean, I guess just overall, you know, maybe individually, who knows, you know, it remains to be seen, but, but, uh, overall, it just seems to be like that. Sterling Brown. Lonzo Ball, like even that regular, if this was a silver, that might go for a little bit more, but just the regular emergent cards, even those will go for like 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks, maybe. You get a handful of those, that starts help pay, helping pay for a spot. Zach Levine out of 199. I think he's getting healthier. You should, Joe P. You should pay attention to basketball. There's a lot of good... The margins are really good in basketball if you're if you're uh, one to resell. And the, your, your sons have a decent team. There's De'Aaron Fox. Gallinari, we've got Steph Curry, 27 out of 99. A few base cards right here. Yeah, basketball is great. Joe P, the, the, the NBA would be a lot better if we got back to like the early 2000s, mid 2000s, you know, Lakers, Suns playoff battles. Oh, those are good times. We need to we need to bring we need to, we need to bring back those times. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys had I mean you guys had a really you guys had really tough teams there too. Mike D'Antoni with Steve Nash. You had a, you had a couple uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on it. Um, You guys had a couple of tough defenders too, like enforcers, enforcing kind of guys that that were there too. That would always give, you know, like the flashy Lakers a tough time during in the playoffs too. I mean, those are some those are some good moments. A lot of good good basketball being played then. But the NBA would be better if the if the if the Lakers and Suns, at least in the Pacific anyway, the Lakers and Suns were strong. You want to see that for sure. Right, and when you and I, you and I both hate the Spurs. Oh, right, Rajah Bell. That's yeah, Rajah Bell clotheslining Kobe. But that was, it was like res Sean Marion too. That's right. I like respect though. You know what I mean? Because those are some really hard fought, really hard fought battles. Yeah, there's good there's good basketball tradition in, in Phoenix. Alright. Speaking of, it's TJ Warren. And Damian Dotson. Knicks autograph. That goes to Angelo with the New York Knicks. And for the purple and gold, there's gold, Luke Walton. Two out of ten. Angela with my Lakers. Jason Tatum, Sterling Brown.
We've got Lucas Noguerra for the Raptors at a 199. We've got Ojalele Silver Prism for the Celtics. That's for Jason. And is this an autograph? It is. Nice. Lori Markinen. The Finn. That is for Vasilis, V Maximus, and the Bulls. You can thank uh, you can thank Bobby Portis and Miritich for giving Lori Markin some playing time. And then all of a sudden, blowing up. There he is again. That hyper will have some good value too. Wesley Wundu, Silver Prism for the Magic. That'll be for Jason Cox in Orlando. Markel Fultz for the Sixers. Tyron Liu at a 75. Valachunas. Uh, I'm not sure what's close to filling tonight, Joe P. Um, I know that that contenders football is close, but we're out of time for contenders. That's an hour-long break. So by the time I'm done with this, we won't have time for that. There's Dennis Smith Jr. Donovan Mitchell has been playing great. That's, that's a valuable one. That Donovan Mitchell going to the Jazz, of course. That'll be for Angelo. Um... And I have like another hour of work to do after all this too. We've got a lot of breaks that are sitting back there that I need to organize for the team. Um, at a 199, Kenny Atkinson. Yeah, but this break won't be over for another like 40 minutes, Joe P. Wesley Johnson. And that contenders break is an hour. A little over an hour, actually. So unfortunately, I won't have time for that. All right, so we got that Wesley Johnson. <laughs> Not Jopi. Bossman, Nick, Jaspi, they're out of town. They're on vacation. Mrs. Bossman, too. So there's a lot, a lot of slack that I have to pick up as well. And that's for the Nets out of 199. They're gone for like a week. I guess they, they never really, boss man never really vacations, so he deserves it. Hi, Joe. Uh, no, actually, oh, did I forget to post another one? No, I'm not. Uh, we have one more master case left, Joe. So after I do this break, I'll post another one. Maybe we can work on a couple of those tonight, too. Good luck, Justin Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Kings, that'll be for Angelo. With the Justin Jackson, there's Patty Mills, Reggie Jackson. Jay Crowder, Tristan Thompson. There's Malik Monk, Mergent. 
And Austin Rivers out of 75. Malik Monk for the Hornets. That'll go to Angelo. Um, the Austin Rivers goes to Kyle. And for the Pistons, that'll be for Kyle as well. And there's Anu Obi for the Raptors. That'll be for Angelo. Angelo with that one. There you go. Markel Fultz. That's pretty cool. Sixers is also Angelo, I think. Nice. Is that hyper parallel of emergent Markel Fultz? And Sixers are going to have a scary team as well. Wow. Dennis Smith Jr., Mojo. That's for the Mavericks. That's for Angelo. Now, someone looked this up on eBay. Three out of 20. So, out of 25, look at sold auctions for just this card. See, Tell me what it goes for. I'll bet a lot of people would be pretty surprised at what that card goes for. Or if someone knows offhand. Just shout it shout out the estimate on that. There's Austin Rivers again. Even that Ben Simmons, even though that's his second that's not his rookie card, there is still some value left in these Prism cards for Ben Simmons. His autos, he's exclusive to upper deck for autographs, so that's what makes his uh base cards do okay. Eighty out of one ninety nine, Austin Rivers. Silver Prism would do a lot better, too. Donovan uh, Mitchell, Emergent, for the Jazz. Justin Jackson again. And Kristaps Porzingis, 10 out of 99. Nice. That's for the Knicks. That went to Angelo. That goes to Angelo. Nice, Angelo. There you go. Kyle Kramer sees one of those Don of these Dennis Smith Juniors. One had sold for $246.50, $246.50. That's for just a regular card out of 25. That's it. Uh, that card pretty much pays for pretty much pays for one of Angelo's spots, actually. That's close, that's close to the cost of admission. Greg Monroe. So we had Greg Monroe for the Bucks. Uh, Vasilis has the Bucks out of 199. And there's Antetokounmpo. He's been balling out. Also for Vasilis. Nets, that'll be Angelo with the Jared Allen and Tilakina emergent. Wow, one on so one in early December. So the one Kyle Kramer's talking about. The 246.50, that sold today. But Jason Cox was going back to early December. One had sold for $620. Wow. All right. Three boxes down. A lot more to go. But we're pulling some nice hits out of here. So that makes a break like this worthwhile. Folks, we have um, we have three box pick your teams available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, a much friendlier price point if that if this sort of stuff interests you. So imagine I don't know how much the Dallas Mavericks cost in a three box break, but imagine if you got the Dallas. It can't be more than like forty bucks, I would think. Imagine if you get get the Mav for that price, get the Dennis Smith Jr. and then boom, you have a two hundred and fifty dollar card popping out. Not too shabby at all, I'd say. I mean, there are a lot of a lot of teams that have rookies that can get that kind of value back for you. Uh, Boston Celtics, uh, Chicago Bulls, Dallas Mavericks. 
You know, you got the Lakers with Kuzma and even Lonzo Ball. You've got Bam Adebayo for the Heat. You've got, I think, Orlando Magic have a player. Sixers, of course. Suns. Kings. Jazz with Donovan Mitchell. So, there's a number of teams that could that could get you. That Lonzo Ball right there. Silver, so this is the refractor version. Look that up. That's going to be, like, what, $100, $150? Actually, he's been playing well the last few weeks, so maybe it's... Maybe it's gone up a little bit. But that's for the Lakers. That's for Angelo. There's Mike Conley for the Grizz. Although I can't believe the Lakers lost to the Grizz. Grizzly the other night. Yeah. Jason saying, Jason Cox is saying about 150-ish. There you go. See? That covers... Half of a spot already in this break. Just with that one card. This is for the Timberwolves. This goes to Vasilis. Nemanja Ma. Nice Lori Markinen. So if Lonzo goes for 150, this Markinen might go for like. I mean, how much does he go for? 100 bucks? 60? What does this Donovan Mitchell go for? You know, that's gotta be an, that's gotta be some money too. 100, 150 bucks. Utah Jazz, that'll be for Angelo. Wayne Selden Jr., Ricky Rubio, 74 out of 99. Buddy Healed. Nice Buddy Healed autograph. Man, he got he actually got traded. He was a high draft pick for the Pelicans last year, Angelo. Angelo knows this. He's a basketball guy. Got traded. It wasn't doing that great. It was doing okay, I guess. But then really came into his own in uh really came into his own in Sacramento. Sacramento might quite might be quietly building a nice team too. If they put it all together. Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty nice box here. Another Donovan Mitchell, emergent. Malcolm Delaney for the Hawks. Luke Kennard, emergent. So this might only go for, might not go for that much, but if it was like a silver prism or a parallel, Donovan Mitchell would do really nicely on a secondary market. The eBay, of course, is what I usually mean. But we don't get paid by eBay, so I don't really I don't really need to pimp them out that much, right? Malik Monk, emergent. Gorgie Dieng for the Timberwolves. I'll sell out to a sponsor though. So eBay, if you're listening, I'll totally sell out. If you give us sponsorship money, I'll do it. Gorgie Dieng, Timberwolves, Vasilis, 7 out of 75. I'm sure someone at eBay is watching this hour-long prison basketball break. But if you are, if you are eBay, sponsor us. We'll name drop, we'll name drop your company all the time. Otherwise, secondary market. All right, good luck, folks. Next box. So talk to me, folks. Let's, this is a good excuse for, for us to talk a little hoops. Um, Jason, your favorite basketball team. 
And how are they doing? Angelo, same question. Bacillus. If Kyle was here, you can tell us later, Kyle. I'm a Lakers guy, of course. A lot of dark times for the Lakers. But trending in the right direction. A lot of question marks because there's a lot of guys with expiring contracts and a lot of reliance on on some talented rookies, but obviously rookies, young players, it's hard to uh, hard to get the consistency out of them. I think there's a lot of crazy Laker fans out here who actually thought we were going to make it to the playoffs. Come on. A lot of nice young talent, but not, not, not close to a playoff team. But they're, they're clearing up a lot of cap space, so we'll see what they do with that money. Whether they actually land marquee free agents or not, that, that, that's, a that's a big question. Jason says, probably the heat because of Josh Richardson. Oh, you're a huge Tennessee fan. Oh, warming up to the Lakers a little bit, too. All right. I can handle that. There's John Wall for the Wizards. For Vasilis out of 199. Emergent John Collins for the Hawks. That's for Angelo. Steph Curry, get hyped. Bulls for Angelo. How are you feeling about your Bulls? Angelo, they've been they've been playing pretty well recent weeks. Really well, actually. May not be sustainable, but still pretty good. Doug McDermott for the Thunder. That'll be for Kyle. Justin Jackson, Quinn Snyder, Goran Dragic. So there's a Goran Dragic for the Heat. That'll be for Angelo. That is out of 99. We'll top load all these before these get sent out, of course. Justin Jackson. Dougie Fresh for the Thunder for Kyle. 25 out of 99. Ben Simmons for the Sixers, and DJ Wilson Emergent. Larry Nance Jr. He's fun to watch, too. Yeah, the Lakers definitely, they may not... I think they're at the same win total now as, as last year's team, but I think more people are excited to watch the Lakers now. They're, they're, they're a lot more fun to watch, even though they're not winning as, you know, they're winning just as many games as they did last year. I think Vegas had their win total, the Lakers win total at 32 and a half. I think they kind of nailed it. I would take the over, but just barely. They're in a difficult part of their schedule right now. I'll take the over, but barely. DeMarcus Cousins, this refractor. Wow, a one of one. That's what I thought. DeMarcus Cousins for the Pelicans, one of one. That goes to Angelo. Angelo, you know about the train whistle. Out of fives and under, ladies and gentlemen, gets the train whistle. Angelo, all aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I'm hoping he ends up a Laker. Yeah, TD is saying that trying to rainbow Kuzma, but his, his stuff is pricey. Kuzma's been playing pretty well. Jonathan Isaac. For the Magic, out of 199. And Zach Collins for the Trailblazers. Nice one for Vasilis. So for the Magic and Jason, out of 199, Jonathan Isaac. The Frank Tilakina for the Knicks, Angelo with that one. The Ruby Wave. And emergent Donovan Mitchell. Looking for parallels on this. This is just a base version, but the parallels. 
would be pretty on fire. Nice emergent Josh Jackson. So a nice hyper refractor for the Josh Jackson. Phoenix Suns, that'll be for Angelo. And there you have it, nice one of one to Marcus Cousins. Yeah, I don't know. Someone should look that up. What are those? One, what's that one of one going for? If it was a rookie, if it was like a hot rookie, Angelo, I'm sure that would go for like a zillion dollars. But Demarcus Cousins, though, still pretty popular. I'm not sure what he would go for. One of one, hundred bucks maybe. Is that does that sound crazy? Someone should look that. Up. Someone should look it up and see what the uh, what other similar one of ones of similar players are going for. Oh yeah, so Jason Cox and I are on, this, on kind of on the same page. He's seventy five hundred bucks or so. That's not bad for a vet. Fins up. What's going on, Chris? Yeah, that was Josh Jackson right there, Joe P. If he uh, he still he still has a little time to grow. I think. I think he's getting a little more work since Devin Booker was out for a week or so, right? I think he got a little extra work in. Still a work in progress, but I mean. That could be a big rookie right there, too. Um, I don't know. We have six left. So this is box six, actually. We're halfway there. And we've got about 30 more minutes to go in this one. Oh, nice. You should, Chris. Come by the store. Um, Bossman and Nick are out for like a week. They're on they're on vacation. Um, and uh, but you know you know when I'm here, so yeah, feel free to pop down and hang out. Justin Patton. Is your next autograph? Look at that. Looks looking pretty stylish there, Justin. Vasilis with the Timberwolves. There you go. Nice. Josh Hart, Silver Prism. Josh Hart not getting a lot of minutes for the Lakers, I think, not recently, but people seem to like him too. I think he does a lot better than you think on a secondary market. He does okay. John Collins, Trevor Graham, Skull. DJ Wilson, Frank Jackson for the Pelicans. There's Cousins again. I guess, you, Angela, you can start the Cousins rainbow now. You have the one of one. There's uh, Fundamentals, Devin Booker. There's Skull again. Kyle Kuzma, Wade Baldwin, and Bam Adebayo. Adebayo for the Heat for Angelo. That's 70 out of 99. Kuzma Emergent, parallels of these resell extremely well. There's Skull for the Kings. That'll be for Angelo out of 199, 92 out of 199. The Frank Jackson Hyper. For the Pelicans, Angelo, Bucks. I know Vasilis has the Bucks. DJ Wilson. There's Skull for the Kings. Angelo, that's numbered out of 75. Silver Trayvon Graham for the Hornets. Angelo and John Collins for the Hawks. Also for Angelo. There's Josh again. And Devin Reed, rookie auto for the Suns, Phoenix Suns, Angelo.
Terrence Ferguson, John Collins, Tyler Dorsey. I mean, this draft class is so good that it's that these parallels right here, you may as well just sleeve them up. You may as well put them in a drawer and see what happens because you never know. TJ Leaf and Zach Collins for the Trailblazers out of 199. Trailblazers, that'll be for Vasilis. And the Pacers, that's for Angelo. Former UCLA product. All right, we've got six boxes to go. We are halfway there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. So who do you guys think will be the best uh, the best player out of this draft? Let's say in in three years. Three 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 to four seasons. Cause that'll give everyone a little especially the one and done's, that'll give them some experience under their belts. So who starts to emerge? After three years, who's going to be the guy? Markel Fultz, of course, went number one overall. Sixers. That's a good young team there. They all can play well together. Could be interesting. Lonzo Ball got a weird shot, but if he fixes that over the next few years... He, he does have the court vision. He does have that knack. That's a unique talent. So, but if, and if he if that shooting just becomes even just a little bit better, that might be enough. Jason Tatum, he's getting work in in Boston. Angelo says Josh Jackson. That's the fourth overall. Josh Jackson from Kansas. I mean, he'll get he'll eventually get playing time. James Harden for the Rockets. That's out of 75 for Jason. DJ Wilson for the Bucks. Justin Jackson, emergent. There's Jordan Bell. Fins Up was just talking about Jordan Bell. And there's Frank Jackson. Auto for the Pelicans to Angelo. Basilis is Tatum. Fins up was talking about Jordan Bell. Uh, he, uh, he's starting to get a little extra playing time, right? I feel like he's getting a little more time here and there. Donovan Mitchell was uh, Jason Cox's choice as the best player of the draft three or four years from now. Vasilis is Tatum. And that might be a scary team. See Rajon Rondo with 25 assists the other night? There's Sabonis out of 199. If Gordon Hayward's healthy. Nice Ben Simmons for the Sixers. Angelo, 31 out of 99. And there's Josh Jackson fourth. De'Aaron Fox, that could be an interesting one too. Jonathan Isaac for the Magic. Laurie Markinen was seventh. So he's put Laurie Markinen putting in work too. There's Donovan Mitchell. And 
There's another Ben Simmons. Emmanuel Moutier. Emmanuel Moutier, we, I think we, a lot of people expected a lot more from Emmanuel Moutier. Nuggets for Angelo out of 199. Ben Simmons again. There's Donovan Mitchell. Uh, oh, sorry, Donovan Mitchell. Caleb Swanigan is your other autograph, looks like. It is. Rookie auto for the Trailblazers. That'll be for Vasilis. Fins up says Tatum won't because he'll end up being the fourth option on that team. I was going to say, I mean, that could be a good thing and a bad thing. You know, Kyrie, Tatum, Hayward, But, I mean, this rookie class has been great just because so many players have been doing so well or at least making some kind of impact here and there, noticeable impact. Um, Frank uh, Tilakina for the Knicks has actually been pretty solid. I got to see him in uh, when, he, when the Lakers were playing the Knicks. Oh, that's interesting. Vasil is saying in three years they won't be able to keep the salary cap for all of them. So he'll probably end up somewhere else and flourish. So Tilakina for the Knicks is doing okay, right? Dan Smith Jr. definitely been a revelation for the Mavs. He's a number nine pick. Is Zach Collins getting work in for the Kings? I'm not sure. I think Malik Monk is a little bit, right? Luke Kennard for the Pistons, perhaps. Donovan Mitchell, the 13th pick for the Nuggets and then traded immediately to Utah. That Donovan Mitchell has been playing pretty well. Really, really well. And that's great for a 13th overall pick. That's huge. There's Bam Adebayo for the Heat. Kentucky guy. I think people have a lot of high hopes for him. Justin Jackson went to the Kings. Justin Patton to the Bulls. Uh, DJ Wilson for the Bucks. TJ Leaf. I don't think TJ Leaf has been playing very much, but I think his stuff is actually selling decently. Um... There's John Collins. No, um, Kuzma was a late first rounder. I think we're getting there. I think who else jumps out at me? I saw, I've seen some nice highlights for Jared Allen for the Nets. That guy might be something. Anuobi for the Raptors could be interesting. Caleb Swanigan for the Trailblazers. There's Kuzma was number 27th. That was from a pick. That was a, a Brooklyn Nets pick that the Lakers got which they originally got from Boston, traded to the, I don't know, some weird deal. So that's how we got, that's how the Lakers got Utah's Kyle Kuzma, who's a junior. I think he's the oldest guy drafted in the first round. Junior. I mean, that goes to show you, you know, that one and dones, they may not be, you know, you may get, you're going to get very inconsistent results with one and dones. But you see a guy like Kuzma, who's a junior and comes out and is pretty much more of a more of a polished. Maybe his ceiling is a little lower, but certainly more polished from the get-go. Angelo is saying Donovan Mitchell will be the rookie of the year. Yeah, what is that one's early rookie of the year picks? There's Wesley Wundu for the Orlando Magic. Jason Cox with that. And then there was Derek White for the Spurs, and then Josh Hart was picked up from the Lakers soon after that. Frank Jackson, Devin Reed, Wes Wundu. So Frank Jackson is your first pick in the second round. There's Torian Prince for the Hawks. That'll be for Angelo. So Frank Jackson was the 31st overall first pick in the second round to the uh, Pelicans. And then you get Devin Reed, Wes Wundu, Frank Mason the third, Ivan Rab, Ojaleyi, Jordan Bell. There, there's Jordan Bell. He was a 30, 38th overall. 
Dwayne Bacon. Mm, Bacon. And then, not sure about these other players. Cinderius Thornwell, I think, or has been making a little noise here and there. Second rounders, not as, not as easy to really predict or project. There's Harry Giles out of 199. But going down, Josh Hart, but going down that um, that first round list to name off so many players that are doing well in the hobby and that are contributing, or at the very least contributing to their team, or at the most leading their team. I mean that's that's a, that's a good thing for for the hobby. That's a good thing for basketball to see that. There's Kevin Love at a 199. Zach Collins emergent for the Trailblazers, that's for Vasilis. Mike Budenholzer for the Hawks for Angelo, that's out of 75. There's Wayne Selden Jr. for the Grizz, that's for Angelo. Those are not numbered, and this is not numbered, but a nice emergent Luke Kennard. Right, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what do, who do you think will be the best in a few years? But this class, I mean, yeah, at first round, You just go down that list and you're like, wait a second. You know, even if these listen, at the worst, even if the even if those all of those players become like third team all you know, all NBAers or something like that, that's huge. <laughs> to have that kind of consistency from top to bottom. Mark is smart for the Celtics, Jason Cox, last spot mojo. I mean that's huge. Again, just 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 look at, you know, Fultz, uh, Sixers, Lonzo Ball, Lakers, Tatum, Celtics, Josh Jackson, Suns, De'Aaron Fox, Kings, Jonathan Isaac, Magic, Laurie Markin, and Timberwolves, Tilakina, uh, Knicks, Dan Smith Jr., Mavs, um, who else is Donovan Mitchell, Nuggets, you know, Kyle Kuzma, Lakers. That's already like what six seven players. Maybe 10 players out of that. If the third of the draft is that good, you know? Like half the first round seems like they'll just be solid NBAers. You know, for for a number of years. They, they could have like a five, seven year career. Grind out a five, seven year career in the NBA. Which is, you know, extremely respectable. You know, half that group seems like they could be all-stars. And a few of these players, more than a few of these players, seem like they could be potential superstars. I mean, that's pretty huge. When's the last time a draft class was that good? Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, Finn's up saying he's big on coups. He could win the Rookie of the Year, yeah. Yeah, Ingram started off the season hot. I, th I think Ingram will be a nice one for the Lakers, too. I mean, I know it's hard to judge a rookie class just off just after one year, but last year's 2016 draft, aside from Ben Simmons and Brandon Ingram, one and two, Dragon Bender. I mean, I guess Chris Dunn's doing okay. Buddy Heald definitely a lot better now that he's in now that he's in a uh, Sacramento. But then it's Jamal Murray, Marquise Chris, Jakob Potl, Thon Maker. Oh, he's doing okay. But Sabonis. Prince, Papa Giannis, Denzel Valentine, Juan Hernan Gomez. Not exactly names that move the needle for a lot of people. At least in the first round. Pascal, Sia Pascal Siakam was picked 27th. That's where Kuz was picked. So, I mean... Not too much there. Jalen Brown. That's true. Jalen Brown's playing a lot better. What about 2015? What do, what do we have in 2015? We'll, we'll go through that in a second. See, 2015's a little soft, too. It's just Porzingis and Carlton Towns, right? There's Bobby Portis. We can thank him 
for uh, for the emergence of Lori Markinen. Josh Jackson, Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Rondé Hollis Jefferson is out of 99 for the Nets. Angelo, there's Josh Jackson emergent. Not a parallel, but still cool. Bobby Portis for the Bulls out of 199. There's Markinen, Collins. Yeah, Carnley Towns, uh, Devin Booker, 13th, and Jokic, Porzingis, and that's about it for that class. Like, remember when Emmanuel Moutier was supposed to be really, really big? <laughs> it didn't really end up. Miles Turner, I guess. I like Miles Turner. Miles Turner actually, that year, resold really well on a secondary market. Markel Fultz. I remember pulling um, a Miles Turner, I think out of 10 or something like that, out of flawless basketball. And so, and whoever got that, I forget who got it. I think it was a regular. Whoever got it said they sold it for like $6,000. It was an RPA to 25, I think. Thomas Bryant for my Lakers. There we go. Laker Joe Mojo going to Angelo. There's Kuzma, Emergent, Terrence Ferguson, Hyper. All right, what about the year before? What about 2014? Uh, 2014, Andrew Wiggins went one. Looks like Carl Anthony Towns definitely overshadowing Andrew Wiggins. Jabari Parker was two. He just that guy just needs to stay healthy. So so does Embiid, but it feels like the Sixers have got a good system for keeping Joel Embiid healthy. It looks like when he's healthy, the dude produces. That Wesley Awundu for the Magic, Jason Cox was fifty-eight out of one ninety-nine, and there's Zach Collins. Exum, Dante Exum was another guy. I remember when the Lakers were were trying to say, oh, do, you know, do you take Exum or you take someone else? They ended up with Julius Randle in that one. Did we get shorted an autograph? Or was that Marcus Smart autograph? I don't remember. I hope we didn't get shorted an autograph. Anyhow. Yeah. Okay, we did, right? That's what I thought. Unless I don't think I missed one. They, the autographs are backwards, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't have missed it. I think just one on that one. Sorry, guys. That's how. That's why they put on average on there. That's how they get you. Yeah, Marcus Smart was sixth uh, in 2014 that year. So it was Wiggins, Jabari, Embiid, Aaron Gordon. What's Aaron? Where, where's Aaron Gordon right now? Dante Exum, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, Nick Stauskas, Noah Vonley, Alfred Payton, Doug McDermott, Saric, Levine, T.J. Warren. I guess Nurkic is pretty good, but this wasn't. I mean, this class doesn't really didn't really move the needle as well, right? Let's go back to 2013. We're, we'll keep going back. Which class is going to move the... Oh, 2013 was not good. Oh, Crouch says Gold, Gordon on the Rockets might start. Okay. Um, remember, number who's number one overall? Don't look. No cheating. 2013, number one overall. Do you guys remember?
2013 was not a good draft class. No looking, no, no Googling, no cheating. I know it's like four years ago. That's right, Jason Cox. I'm pretty sure you weren't cheating. Um, Anthony Bennett. I think a lot of people actually remember that probably. Anthony Bennett in 2013, drafted by the Cavs from UNLV, and then I think nothing. Right? I don't. I, I think he's he's not in the league anymore. And then this class, and look, let's go through the top 10 really quick. Anthony Bennett, Oladipo, Otto Porter, Cody Zeller, Alex Len, Nerlens Noel, Ben McLemore, KCP, uh, Trey Burke, CJ McCollum, Michael Carter-Williams. Oh, Ante DeCampo is in that class. That's the only guy, though. He was picked 15th. 14 teams passed on Giannis. That's it. Dan Smith Jr., Justin Jackson, Bellinelli. And, and Trayvon Graham, Hornets. I guess Otto Porter is going to, I guess that just, I don't know, maybe he doesn't move the needle hobby-wise. Does he? I don't know, does he? Otto Porter, I guess he is going to get it. I feel like a lot of guys that shouldn't deserve a max contract are going to get max contracts, though, fins up. That's the thing. I don't know. This this class doesn't move the needle for me. <laughs> oh, now this class, 2012 has got to move the needle for you. Who was number one overall in 2012? Oh, there's Marco Bellinelli. That's out of 199. Hawks. Silver Justin Jackson for the Kings. More Dan Smith Jr. I guess for some reason, is Old Depot doing well? I guess he is. I don't know. For some I may, maybe maybe that th something happened in 2013. I'm just blocking that out. Now, Kyra was not number one in 2012. I think he was a, he might have been the year before. Uh, Jason's got it. Anthony Davis was number one overall. I think Vasilis got it too. Yeah, this was a good class. Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, then Bradley Beal, Deion Wayers, Thomas Robinson, and then Damian Lillard was six. Harrison Barnes, um, seventh. Terrence Ross, eighth. Andre Drummond is ninth. You got Austin Rivers, Myers Leonard, Jeremy Lamb. Who else? I guess I guess it kind of drops off a little bit after that. Draymond, uh, high second round pick out of this class. But I feel like I feel like that top ten is pretty is is pretty solid. I mean, you can't expect all of them to be superstars or all, even all stars, but. But I feel like that was a pretty solid, pretty solid class. Number one overall in 2011. This is your answer, Kevin Crouch. Get in with confidence. Out of 75, Rodney Hood. Bam out of bio, Dragon Bender. There you go. Crouch has got it. Kyrie Irving was number one overall. Um, they got the pick, Cav, the Cavs got the pick from the Clippers? How did that happen? On February 24th, 2011, the Cleveland Cavaliers acquired Baron Davis and a 2011 first round draft pick from the Clippers in exchange for Mo Williams and Jamario Moon. <laughs> wow. Come on, Clippers. Is that a Reggie Miller autograph? Wow. Reggie Miller. I guess that makes up for the uh, for the missing auto in the previous box. Who has the Pacers? Angelo with the Pacers. 
one of my favorite non-Lakers, Reggie Miller and like Allen Iverson are probably my favorite non-Laker players, my most favorite non-Laker players. One, I mean, it helps that Reggie Miller's an L.A. guy too, UCLA guy. One out of ten, Reggie Miller. Wow. Love this guy. Just a, just a classic trash talker as well. Classic trash talker. And not like a... Not like a KG kind of trash talker. Where KG, I don't know, you're almost kind of scared of KG. <laughs> There's Draymond out of 199. There's Ben Simmons Silver right there. That goes to the Sixers. That's also for Angelo and a Tatum for Jason. But he, but Reggie Miller, I feel like he's got good, got some good clean trash talking. <laughs> that just like, just gets under your skin. Uh, I think I, I remember seeing something. Maybe it was about the game between uh, the, the the old Knicks uh, Knicks Pacers playoff game. Why am I blanking on his name? Vasilis, you know, you know this name. The guy that the guy that he, Reggie Miller got to headbutt him, and then Reggie Miller like over dramatically like stepped back and everything. That was like a big deal. And then he got, and he got uh, kicked out of the game. Patrick Ewing was so pissed because that was a huge playoff game. Um, and they did a thirty for thirty for for it. Like, why am I blanking on his name? And he's a, he's a really good sport about it too. Um, Mason. Familiar? Starks, that's right. No, Finn's up has has it. John Starks. That's what it was. So Reggie Miller. I mean, I mean, I don't know if if a lot of people. If you're if you're a little bit younger, Angelo, or maybe even a lot younger. This is kind of this is this. I was I was young when that happened. Um, but if you remember this, Reggie Miller was chirping in John Starks's ear all all game long and just got under Starks' skin. And John Starks kind of, kind of headbutted or pushed his head towards Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller, like, you know, reacts like Reggie Miller does, you know, and 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 wildly flails back and all that sort of stuff. Gets John Starks suspended for or ejected from the game and all that. It was a thing. Um, John Starks talks about it now. You know, John Starks has has made a. Has has a, apparently has a really nice post NBA career. He's doing a lot of business stuff, and I think, I think he uh, he talks about it frequently, and um, and doesn't really. You now there's points. We'll randomize that to one person, um, and it's okay talking about it. And just says, yeah, you just got under my skin. That's what happens. There's Kenny Atkinson for the Nets. Well, that, that's a great moment. That, that that's Reggie Miller just just trash talking. You know, which is which is incredible. You know, there's Luke Kennard, but um, Reggie Miller's sister, the legendary Cheryl Miller, she says that the thing with Reg, the thing, the thing with Reggie Miller, is that. He is he he's he's um, Cheryl Miller's little brother, and she says, "Yeah, he's like a li he's annoying like a li little brother." So if you have little brothers or younger siblings, w Willie Hernan Gomez, like you know that kind of annoyance that you get, you know that's how he gets into your head. That's how he chirps in your ear, you know. That's how he gets you. That's the kind of trash talking he does. Malik Monk, there's Luke Kennard, Ruby Wave. But that's how he gets you. That's how that's how Reggie Miller gets you. That's awesome. That autograph is so cool. For 
Frank Tilakina, Dion Ware. We'll go through those parallels in just a second. There's the Dion Waiters for the Heat. It's for Angelo. Out of 199. Frank Tilakina. Yes, we will have time for one NT Collegiate and Upper Deck Black after this. So by the time I'm done, this will probably have about 40, or probably have 30 minutes left. So that'll be plenty of time for um, for both those, those one box breaks. There's Cinderius Thornwell, who the Clippers seem to like. There's Lonzo, Mike Conley. No, I've not listed Upper Deck Black yet, but I will after after I'm done with that box. Bogdanovich. But yeah, big fan of Reggie Miller. Pulling that autograph is pretty sick. And that you're right, Kevin Crouch. He was the king of flops. <laughs> like that's I guess that is kind of what's annoying about him too. Josh York, what's going on? He says, Congrats, everyone has received on average a four percent raise on your upcoming year. Well, you can tell that to the boss man. I've I've not i I've not heard of that yet. All right. Last box, everyone. We made it. We did it. Thank you and good luck. Um, I feel like this has been a pretty solid case thus far. Just from an overall sense. Um, if you like what you see in this prison basketball, ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of prison basketball. The only prison basketball boxes we have left are what's on the store, jaspyshobbyland.com. You'll see three three-box pick-your-team breaks that are remaining. That's the only prison basketball we have left, and there are plenty of teams still left. So you may find your favorite team there, or you may be able to find like a cheap team with a good rookie. That'll be a really smart play. So check that out, jaspyshobbyland.com. Oh, I see. Based on oh the tax. Oh right, right, right. Oh, all right. Well, thanks, Trump. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay. Last box. Good luck, everybody. There's Jason Tatum and Hyper Jason Tatum. Yeah, Jason Cox with the Celtics and Last Ball Mojo. What's that gonna go for? Hundred bucks? There's Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant balling out, playing defense too. Kevin Durant. Frank Mason the third. Jay Crowder for the Cavs. I don't know, I was getting nervous. I feel like everyone's got at least, right? Vasilis, Angelo, Jason, Kyle. I feel like everyone's got at least one like nice thing. The numbers for that, nice. Oh, I appreciate that, Josh York. Look at that, Josh York, always thinking about Jaspi profits. I appreciate it. Jimmy Butler's been playing really well too. There he is. So yeah, so I expect, so Josh York saying, I only bring this up to let everyone know they're free to spend more at the Great Jaspies Hobbyland. I agree. I fully expect everyone to uh, put that 6% addition <laughs> savings. And I, I, I expect everyone, especially the regulars, I expect 6% increases in your spending this year, <laughs> this upcoming year. No, no worries. You can you can revert. Still on topic. Still basketball. There's Kuzma. 
Spolstra. But yeah, in that same Reggie 30 for 30, they do say that Cheryl Miller uh, was probably better than Reggie Miller. There's TJ Leaf. That's for the Pacers. That'll be Angelo. Um, I would think so. I mean... Cheryl Miller was pretty incredible. Jonathan Isaac for the Magic. There's Joel Embiid. Hey. All right, Josh. Good to see you, man. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm sure we'll see you soon. There's Rondé. There's, there's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. That's your autograph right there. There you go. Angelo with the Nets. It's our final autograph. Unless we see a bonus autograph, that should be our final autograph. Top load that. Rudy Gobert. Wow, that is that. And 600 points being randomized to someone. So here's how we'll do it. Um, I've got to do a randomizer for two holiday scratchers, which I'll, which I'll scratch off for you right now, too. Um, so the top two will get holiday scratchers, and the third person will get 600 points. That'll, that'll just make it easy for me. This break's already kind of long enough. All right. I can feel myself slowing down at the end of, at the, end of the day. All right. That, that, high, that hyper parallel, Jason, Jason Cox, that might... I might get you close to the cost of admission, I think. Yeah, it's crazy to people who never saw Cheryl Miller play. Uh, I think people will, will say that, um, that Cheryl Miller probably could have carved out a career playing against the boys, you know what I mean, playing in the NBA. That, that's what some people kind of speculate. It might be possible. It would have been interesting to see. All right. Let's take the 10 original names. Let's put them right here. I don't think I have anything else to randomize, right? No, nothing else. So once again, top two will get holiday scratchers. The third person will get the 600 points. It's nice, right? Okay. Let's roll the dice. 600 is actually not that bad, too. Uh, five and a five. Ten times. Ten times. Good luck. Ten the hard way, if you're into that sort of thing. One, Vegas. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Well, there's no doubt about it. Angelo Stianos with that. Two holiday scratchers, 600 points. He had the odds. The odds were with him, so 600 delicious, delicious points coming your way. And... Some holiday scratchers. We've got 36 left. Now it's going to be 34 left after this. Let's go with this one. And let's go with this one. Do I need a... I need a... All right, so congrats, Angelo. A little extra bonuses for you. The quarter we're going to use today is, what? who are you? Oh, Louisiana. Nice. That's a nice, uh, I don't know what they call the back of a coin. The reverse, I think. Anyhow. Angelo, you're welcome, man. Good luck. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for helping us fill up this break. Appreciate it. And we were going to... Get rewarded with, aha! Uh -huh. Every little bit helps, Angelo. $25 of break credit. I'll email that to you in a little bit. And next up, aha! Uh -huh. Look at this, this is appropriate. A box of basketball coming your way. 1617 Panini Prestige Basketball. Uh, ben Simmons, like I guess base cards in here, parallels, could be worth a lot. And there you go, and the 600 points. So there you have it, folks. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for thanks for sticking with me here. On Friday the 29th, late on a Friday, I'm a little exhausted myself. 17-18, Panini Prison Basketball, full case, ran in team break number two, in the books from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.